Famous Bar was a chain of department stores that opened in 1911 and closed in 2006. Thank you for your suggestion. It's where magic happens, where wishes all come true. This is one day only, one special day for you. The 15-hour sale at Famous Bar starts Saturday with a special preview sale Friday. Save 25 to 50% store-wide and look for great savings on Mother's Day gifts. Shop both days from 8 a.m. till 11 p.m. Don't miss Early Bird Special Saturday starting at 8 a.m. This is where it all starts. This is where it gets good. Famous Bar's 15-hour sale. In 1911, Famous Bar Department Store opened in St. Louis, Missouri. Famous Bar traces its roots back to 1849 when William Barr opened a small dry goods store in a rented building on 3rd and Market Street in St. Louis at a cost of $58.33 a month. According to the company history, the store underwent many changes in locations and in name, incorporating in 1877 as the William Barr Dry Goods Company. With William Barr and two other partners, Joseph Franklin and Charles Birking, William Barr Dry Goods Company boasted 33 departments featuring women's, men's, and children's clothing, shoes, and other apparel, as well as houseware and home goods. On the other side of town, another company traces its roots back to Mott's, a store founded in 1874 by Jesse W. Mott, who sold boots and shoes at 714 Franklin Street. In 1876, Mott took on a business partner, his store supervisor, Joseph Specht. The two added clothing to their wares and presently moved to the store on 703 to 705 Franklin, where it was listed in the city directory as Famous Mott and Spec, it was more popularly known as Famous Clothing Company, Famous reportedly being the public's reference to the store as Famous Place for Bargains. Retailer David May founder of the May Company, acquired the famous clothing store in 1892 for $152,000 in cash, which amounts to about $4.8 million today. May would go on to purchase the William Barr Dry Goods Company in 1910 for $1.75 million. In 1911, he merged the two companies to create Famous Bar. In 1914, David May opened a new Famous Bar department store in downtown St. Louis, the first air-conditioned department store in the country. Beginning in 1914, Famous Bar was known for their dining, notably the dairy lunchroom and the tea room. By the 1940s, Famous Bar began their expansion with their new store opening in Clayton in 1948. During the 1950s and 1960s, the department store became known for their Christmas tree, the beautiful lights, and displays. During the 1950s, Famous Bar was also a target of civil rights demonstrations on account of its discriminatory policy toward African-American shoppers. At its peak, there was around 11 stores, including its flagship store found in downtown St. Louis. In 1955, Famous Bar opened another branch store at the Northland Shopping Center in Jennings, a mall owned by Famous Bar's corporate parent, the May Companies. The Northland store celebrated its 25th anniversary in 1980. On February 20, 1969, St. Louis area's seventh famous bar store opened near the intersection of Manchester and Interstate 244 in West St. Louis County. 
The store was notable for its flying saucer-shaped ceiling and roof that personified the 1960s style and architecture. Like many department stores during the 1960s and 70s, Famous Bar's expansion was into the malls, with most of its locations found in malls in and around St. Louis. In 1991, it took operational control of the L.S. Ayers division in Indiana, and in 1998, took on the Jones store in Kansas City when May acquired that chain in the aftermath of the Dillard's acquisition of Mercantile Stores Company. Both chains retained their names. On February 28, 2005, Federated Department Stores, Inc. announced that they would acquire the May Company for $11 billion. The famous bar name was retired on September 9, 2006 when Federated converted most of the Macy's regional department stores to the Macy's nameplate, with the exception of the Eastland Mall in Evansville, Indiana. The Eastland Mall store closed and became Dillard's instead of due to the existing Lazarus store, which already became Macy's in 2005. The downtown St. Louis store and headquarters were first shrunk and then closed in summer of 2013. The remaining retail employees moved to other stores while the headquarters staff moved to Earth City. So what are some of your favorite memories of this place? Leave a comment or a suggestion for a future video below. Be sure to hit that like button. Thanks for watching.